in case you missed it, that was uh, Derek's reaction. It's like goddamn Tom Cruise over there when uh, when uh, Michael Crabtree ran for that like a gazillion yard touchdown. No, it wasn't a gazillion yards. But it was pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I can imagine TJ's reaction. Uh, Jeff texted it to me, and we all just kind of laughed. His phone call is pretty good too. We all, hey T, fuck you, hang up. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, welcome guys. It's week 16. It's the Bush Bowl. All that fun shit. Um, <clears throat> I thought I'd give you Derek's reaction. Uh, also, that was me and the ghost. So uh, I have expressed consent from the bassist of the band to play their music. And so, uh, fuck you, YouTube. Yeah, suck my dick, assholes. Copyright my ass. So I have expressed consent from the band. So fuck you. All right, moving on. We're gonna start off with the NFL. Uh, playoff pictures looking good. Packers clinched. Tee hee. That's right. You all could just suck it now. My guys are going to the playoffs. Don't know about yours. Uh, so let's see, uh, Saturday, 8.30 on ESPN, it's going to be Lions-Falcons. So uh, we're doing Respect the Pause because Jordan, Jordan requested it. He's working. He wants us to respect the pause. So if you're tempted to watch the game, come on over at 8.30, play some drinking games, watch some King of the Hill. I don't know. There's got to be some there's stuff to do. So come on down early. If you're tempted to watch the Chinny, I know. I know you're going to be tempted. I remember the last time they were on Sunday night against the Niners, and you're like, oh, I'll watch the first quarter. So come on down. We won't watch it. Uh, 1 o'clock game, Titans versus Packers. <clears throat> it just I'm just glad it's televised. At least it better be. I'm going to be pissed. Um, Saints versus Cowboys. Sorry, Dale, I'm pulling for the Cowboys. <laughs> I mean, they have a better chance to make the playoffs than you, so... Uh, I want to see the Cowboys edge out them Giants because I I don't need the Giants in the playoffs. It's it's like it's like voodoo Jew magic. Done. Packers are done when they play them. Um, four o'clock games. Uh, Bears Cardinals. Bears are still fighting. And Giants Ravens. Uh, Sunday night, which we will be doing, is 49ers Seahawks. Uh, 8:30. I we're gonna do respect the pause. Uh, so Jordan usually shows up about 9. Dale and Derek will probably show up about 9, seeing as that Dale has to work. And uh, no Monday night game this week, because that is Christmas Eve, and the NFL is like, oh, we don't do Christmas stuff, except when it's on Sunday, and it's the pack of biz. So uh, that's how I'll roll on into the trophy cat catalog this week. Uh, I'm going to recap real quick. We had the Bayou Bounty Hunters, Taking on the Denver Nondowns. The 11 and 2 Denver Nondowns were favored heavily. Turns out to be 112 to 89. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, but uh, but uh, Dale Dale edged it out and, and a good win. So Dale is moving on. Well, we're moving, moving on, on up. Uh, I have a big T boner versus Team Cool shirt. Team Cool Shirt won 106 to 104. It, it was so close. A goddamn Cool Shirt had Kenny Britt. Kenny Britt had one reception for seven fucking yards. How? He could ke Everyone else was double covered, and Jake Locker was throwing interceptions like a motherfucker, and they won't throw to Kenny Britt? Fucking ridiculous. So, again, uh, looking at next week, you have I have a big T boner versus the Bayou Bounty Hunters. Jeff going for his second win in a row... He, oh my, if Jeff wins, do you know what this means, everybody? This means a whole nother year times two of last year's gloating. This, like, your brains will explode from all of the smugness. He'll be like, oh, when I win for the third time in the row. It's like dealing with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady all rolled into one. That's just going to happen. You should get a Bill Belichick jersey, Jeff. That's what you should get. But he already said he's going to get RG3, which I'm okay with that, but I'm not okay with him winning it two years in a row. Outrageous, but I'm hoping Dale wins because I really want to see Bayou Bounty Hunters. Uh, either either team wins, this could be a great name going on the trophy. Bayou Bounty Hunters, or I have a big T boner. But uh, uh I don't know, man. But uh, let's get to the 
the Michael Crabtree of the situation. Uh, the Strap of Chins versus Going Green with Nick Fairley. It was looking real good, real good for TJ, like, at the beginning of the day. But somehow, Chinny's players, like, I'll, I just want to look at this quick box score. Uh, the final, by the way, if you didn't know, which you all know, 83-80 with that Michael Crabtree touchdown sealing it. And uh, looks like uh, looks like TJ earns this. I got to earn this, T. And the reason you earn this is not because not because you low score, but you you did you you angered the dog shirt. The dog shirt got angry because you tossed you threw it on the ground. You're like no dog shirt, fuck this! And you threw. I'm not gonna throw it. I don't want that bad voodoo. So I'm gonna set it back down on the ground slowly. Um, Chinny, Chinny got outscored basically everywhere. Bell, Fitzgerald, three and two points. Jake Cutler, seven points. Six for Finley. Three for Lions D and five for Hanson. While TJ's Matt Bryan got 10 points. Heath Miller, his tight end, got 15. QB got 12. Darren Mc... His running backs got 12, but that ended up tying with Michael Turner. What really helped Chinny out is that James Jones had three fucking touchdowns. The only three for the Packers. I don't understand how that's possible, because James Jones hasn't been targeted all year. Chinny picks him up just, you know get a few extra points, a few extra yards. No, motherfucker gets three fucking touchdowns, which if I were TJ, like, I would have just lost it. It's okay, because TJ was up by at least, I don't know, 20-some-odd points. Oh, Michael Crabtree? Toss, dump off, dump off, a few points. Nah, he's, he's, he's going to need a big run. Dump off, dump off. Oh, my God, 50-yard run for a touchdown. 22 points. That throws him over the edge. Holy shit balls. So thanks to Michael Crabtree and James Jones, Chinny edges out. Going great with Dick Fairley. Still just, wow. Wow. So for the rest of us, uh, your games next week don't matter. I Somehow I'm playing Derek again. So Derek, we're playing each other again. Uh, I'm not going to win. Still not going to win. Um, so even even the dog shirt bowl people got reseeded. Uh, but the only game that's actually going to matter next week is the Bush Bowl. The all, the all coveted Bush Trophy. It has... One person, so we'll get 2012. Either it's gonna be Jeff or Dale. Oh Jesus, hope it's not. Hope it's not Dale or Jeff. Jeff, I can't take the gloating. I can't take the gloating. But if you do win, I expect it. I do expect it. Would not not be Jeff Lake for that. Um, shit. There was something else. Um, oh yeah, uh, GLI. If anyone wants to go again, I'm probably just gonna end up bumming a ride with Eric and his family for the Tech game and then leaving. If I can't get anyone else to go. My sister wants to come down for the Western game, but I don't know how long I can keep her there. I told her to bring a lot of money because she just likes to get trash, so I'll get her drunk and watch the games. Um, damn, there was something... Oh, the trophies! How could I possibly forget the trophies? Uh, I'm sorry, Derek, Derek made one by request, so... Uh, worst all time goes to T, not only for having the worst score, but for earning the dog shirt as well. Sorry, TJ. We still love you. Uh, best all time goes to Dale. He had the most points out of the people that were playing. Now, I didn't, if it was me or Derek or jo Joe or um, Jordan, didn't count. Not counting that. So, same goes for this week. Best worst is going to go to the two, the two um, Bush Bowl contestants. Uh, GMC Never Say Never goes to Jeff for his 106 over 104 over Chris. That makes sense. Uh, good attendance award by request goes to Derek because... Because he walks in. This is the best. I love this. He walks in. I see Mud. I'm like, come on, man. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry. And it was like, oh, everyone from MSU is dirt. Got all that dirt on them shoes. But he goes, at least they get good attendance, right? And all night. It was just took a good attendance. So, so I, will get, I will continue to give Derek a good attendance award through, through this week as well. Even though he's not playing in anything, but just because he's showing up. And, uh... Oh, we might be graced with the the Dave Chung, the real Dave Chung, this Saturday. So I don't know, might might be having a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. But uh, anyway, good luck to Dale and, and Jeff. May the best asshole win. And uh, congratulations, TJ, on your uh, on your defeat. I hope you enjoy your dog shirt. Just uh, don't plan on wearing anything to the Super Bowl because uh, you know what you're going to be wearing. And uh, to everyone else, uh, sorry about the Lions. Go Packers. And uh, go Seahawks this week, I think. I don't know. Yeah, because I want to keep the Giants out. Oh, and RG3. All right, guys. You take it easy. Have a good week. I'll see most of you Saturday. I'll send out a text.